jazz age living, old fashioned sipping, pizzazz ain't missing, got the fat cats kissing the top. Bring the old age back, away grandpa from his nap. We bring it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another segment of the Sunday Punch podcast. You know, I was listening to a uh, little uh, TNT the other night after the Milwaukee Bucks beat the Brooklyn Nets, and uh, Shaq had something very interesting to say. I'm going to play it right now, and then I'm just going to react to it. I, mean, I love the way Giannis is playing. You got a small guy on me, I'm going to the hole. He's shooting that jumper with confidence. Like, you know, we used to say, oh, don't shoot that. You can't say that anymore about Giannis. Right. And he has that. When they showed him getting the game ball, looking at his face. And what'd you say? I saw something that, that, that you earthling should be worried about. <laughs> this is the second yeah. time this week that you no, have been just, impressed by his demeanor. Yeah, Tuesday, just, you said he was mean. Tonight, you were saying the earthling should be worried. Like, it's a great accomplishment. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the greatest big man ever. Like, I, I'd be happy about that. Me and D-Wade would be a prime 112 right after the anthem. But he was just sitting there. I can remember one time when we won the, uh, the Eastern Conference Finals. D-Wade saw me in the corner. He said, why are you not celebrating? I was like, I don't celebrate that. Mm -hmm. And then his whole thing, D-Wade's whole thing just... His brows yeah, dropped. I mean, because I mean, everybody was like, ah, I'm going to cry. And I'm just sitting back and I'm just like, and it's like, like what, see? Well, I, he happy, but he's not, he's not over happy. Did you hear what they, one, two, three? I completely agree with Shaquille O'Neal. Um, to me... Giannis, what's Gian, what Giannis has done is he he mentioned uh, <laughs> he mentioned seeing the look on his face, you know, just being like just like another animal. It it reminds me of um, it reminds me of that scene in Whiplash. Great movie, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Um, it's about a drummer who sacrifices everything to be the best at drumming. Okay, there's the background if you haven't seen the movie. And at the end, not to give it away, but he finally achieves, like, mastery. And uh, everybody, or his dad's watching, and, like, you can tell he realizes that he has sacrificed everything to be the best drummer. And he is now achieving that goal. I, I Actually, let me... Um... Yeah, let me go on another screen real quick here, uh, and then I'll bring it up. Um, all right, bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, while, uh, while I'm looking it up. Okay, while I'm looking it up. Uh, Giannis totally, completely is dominating. Uh, I guess I just don't understand the MVP award anymore. Um, I guess he's just boring people with, you know, 30, 11 and six every night. You know, this award is just Michael Jordan should have won it 10 straight years. LeBron should have won it 10 straight years. It's just, just give it to the most valuable player. And that is Giannis to me right now. Um, all right, let's bring up this whiplash thing. All right, here you go. <laughs> this, this is me watching Giannis on a, on a nightly basis. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, Giannis. <laughs> um, I mean, we're watching what he's what Giannis has done, by the way, from last year to this year. I've never seen uh, quite an improvement like that. I mean, last year we were yelling at Giannis like, do not shoot. Do not shoot. He was going to the, the free throw line and it was not like it was taking 19 seconds to, to shoot a free throw. And we're like, 
oh, if this guy could just get slightly better at both of those things. And right now he's over 70% from the free throw line in that Brooklyn game, nailed the two cutthroat free throws. And I'm watching him like the whiplash guy. And I'm like, this is the best player in the league. And uh, and now when he shoots a jumper, you're no longer saying, oh, don't shoot that, don't shoot that. He can shoot a jumper. He he made a three in that Brooklyn game, another clutch three. And uh, we're watching someone in their prime ascend that leap from last playoffs, couldn't make a jumper, couldn't make a free throw, to now confident in making a jumper, confident in clutch free throws is like uh, just an insane leap. And I'm just on the sidelines, just astounded by Giannis and his continual uh, improval. It's great. It's a wonderful thing to watch. It, it would be like, you know, me like watching like one Neil deGrasse Tyson documentary this year. And then being like, yeah, I have, a, I have a general understanding of astrophysics. And then ne- to next year, you you see me and, and you're like, What's it, what have you been up to? I'm an astrophysicist now. That's what the Giannis leap is. It's great stuff. And uh, I just think he should be um, – he, he, l- let's end it on this. Giannis will probably be – Considered a top five basketball player after his career. Guarantee. I almost went number one. I really, I almost put him above if, you know, if I was getting crazy, if I've been drinking, but I've been drinking water. I almost said by the end of his career, he'll be the best basketball player ever. <laughs> Wait for everyone's head to explode. Um, but let's just put him top five. I mean, what he's done, if he keeps ascending like this, man, it's a, I feel like he's hit his peak. If he can somehow hit another level at his size, with his dominance, it's, it'll be like fucking Shaq coming at, Shaq coming at you from doubt, like bringing the ball up and can shoot threes. That's how dominant he is. And by the way, Tracy McGrady said, oh, if Giannis was uh, in my day, in my era, he'd just be another guy. Here's the, here's the end of the video. Tracy McGrady, Giannis would fuck you up all day, all night. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Ba 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 